Hi, it's Margaret Bui, interview and career coach, and today I want to talk about how you can get more interviews by tailoring your resume to specific jobs. Tailoring your resume for each job you're applying for might sound like a time-consuming task, but it can really significantly increase your chances of securing an interview. A big mistake I see many job seekers make is using the same CV, the same resume for every job vacancy, regardless of the industry or a job title. It's a strategy that will get you nowhere fast. As a senior recruiter and interview coach, I see so many job seekers who keep sending the same resume for various jobs they're not entirely qualified for, and they have no idea why they're not getting interviews. What they don't understand is that if their resume is cluttered with information that's irrelevant to the position they're applying for, it won't get a lot of attention. Yes, tailoring every application is a lot of work but it's worth the work when you get noticed by the right employer. If you apply strategies I talk about in this video, I guarantee you will get more interviews. So let's get started. Number one, understand what the company is looking for. When you're looking at lots of job descriptions on a daily basis, it's easy to assume the positions you're applying for are similar enough that you can just send off your resume without really looking into what that particular job entails. In reality, this is a major mistake. What one company defines as account manager, for instance, may be entirely different from what another company thinks the role encompasses. No matter how certain you are that you know what the company is looking for, before submitting anything, you must actually read the job description. So many people who apply for my jobs clearly don't. Um, Last time I was recruiting for a fluent German-speaking marketer, which was one of the first requirements on the job description, Less than 20% of people who've applied actually spoke German. Um, Number two, fine-tune your keywords. A lot of companies use tracking systems, which mine data from your resume by looking for relevant keywords or phrases. Um, You will have to make small modifications to your resume to ensure the applicant tracking system identifies your resume for further inspection. Um, So highlight the keywords in a job description that interest you. If you look at the job description and say to yourself, I've done these things, you want to make sure that those skills are actually reflected in the same language in your resume. Next, tweak your resume so it contains keywords that correspond with the description in the job posting, especially if the industry jargon. Examples of keywords might include specific computer programs or words like social media, strategist, management, or accounts payable. Bear in mind, though, that a personal profile that just contains a lot of buzzwords is completely useless um, and a waste of space on your resume. Um, You should also avoid cliches like team player with great communication skills. Um, If this is all you have to write in your personal profile or summary, then leave this section off as it will not add anything to your resume. Um, Tip number three, tailor your summary to match the job description. Your summary of qualifications or skills should be different for each job you apply for. So look at the job description, find the most important qualifications the employer is looking for, and write your summary showing that you have the skills and experience needed. If you have included an objective in your resume, make sure that objective also matches the position you're applying for. Again, I can't tell you how many times I've seen an objective on a resume that it's no way relevant to the position the candidate is applying for. Um, If you're applying for a technical role, your technical skills, software, databases, programming languages, etc. should appear in this section of your resume. And a very, very important one, highlight your relevant accomplishments. So list specific achievements that point to the value you bring to an organization and place them right on the first part of your resume. Uh, For maximum results, choose strong resume action verbs that show what you've done. Did you hit your quota for a certain um, number of months? Make that known. Do you know an important computer program? State that. Your resume is not the place to try to minimize your accomplishments. You only have a few minutes or a few seconds to impress an employer, so make sure you do that. For example, if a recruiter requires someone with effective leadership and interpersonal skills, don't just say, I have effective leadership skills. Anyone can say that. Instead, give evidence of your leadership skills with concrete examples. For example, directed a sales team to achieve 20% profit or coached staff to improve employee retention by 30%. 
So these are just, just some examples. Um, make sure the achievements you choose are relevant to the jobs you're applying for. Sometimes I see resumes with some impressive accomplishments, but if they have zero relevance to the job I'm recruiting for, I won't be able to consider the candidate. Tailoring your resume is one of the best ways to show prospective employers that not only do you have the skills and experience they're seeking, you're the right candidate for the job. They likely to see you as more qualified when everything on your resume is relevant. And in my, in my experience, many hiring managers are impressed that you took the time to tailor your resume, which bodes well for your interview prospects. This was your third and last video in my free video series, Smart Strategies to Help You Get Interviews. Um, I very much hope that you've enjoyed the series. And if you would like to see how I can help you get more interviews, improve your LinkedIn profile, or help you prepare for job interviews, please click on the link below to apply for your strategy session. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye for now.